Hello viewers, as always it's your host Mr G, the internet marketing preacher and today I just want to talk to you about what it takes to be successful and you know, do you really want to be successful? Have you asked yourself that question? Do I really want success in life? Am I really willing to do what it takes to be really successful in life? And I'm not talking about a few thousand pounds a month successful, I'm talking five and six figures a month successful. So if you want to be earning five and six figures a month, then this is what you need to do to earn that kind of money, you know, a couple of thousand. I don't want that for my students. I don't want that for my team. I don't want you earning a couple of thousand extra a month. I want you in the tens, twenties, thirties, forties, fifties, sixties, up to a hundred thousand dollars a month earning. Because that's what you are capable of. We are capable of absolutely anything we set our minds to. And as I've said many times before, you can never ever fail at anything in life if you never give up trying and you know talking about success and being successful I just want to um, actually um, share a story with you about um, what it takes to be successful and this I don't know if you've heard this story before but um, I actually heard it in the radio I don't know who actually is the um, the main owner of this story um, who first released it but I want to share it with you anyway because I heard it and it did impact um, impact me in the way I thought and I think it will definitely impact um, you and uh, make you think about whether you really want to be successful in life. Now this is a story about a young boy, he was 20 years old and he really really wanted to be successful in life more than anything, he really really wanted to be successful so he jumped onto the internet and he you know, he, he didn't do well in his education and his studies and you know he was looking for you know what he saw out there were based on his qualification skill set and he wasn't really prepared to um, go back to studying something he didn't enjoy and um, you know he, he, his prospects weren't looking good so he started looking online and he, he started looking at all these different opportunities and you know looking for people who were successful so he could model their success and he found this um, old man online and he had you know big cars and a big house and he was helping a lot of people become successful and he thought you know this is the guy I want to be with this is the guy I want to join and you know I want to learn to be successful from and he actually spoke to this guy a few times and you know he he, he was charging a lot of money for his services in the tens of thousands to train people how to be successful how he was and you know this young lad he had no money really to his name and he stroke up a few conversations um, with, with, with this guy he sent him an email talking about himself his drive and what he wanted to do and you know he was quite persistent with his emails actually and um, he um, the old man took a liking to him so he, he managed to get a telephone conversation with this old man and the old man said to him you know so you really want to be successful, do you? Okay, if you want to be successful, meet me at this beach at four o'clock in the morning. And he mentioned a beach, I think it was Palm Beach or something like that. And he said, four o'clock in the morning, come here and meet me. And the, the young lad was uh, thinking, you know, this guy's crazy, you know, why, why am I going to a beach at four o'clock in the morning? He said, Br the old man said to him, bring your swimsuit, make sure you bring your swimsuit. With him. So the, the young lad's thinking, you know, What's going on about bring my swimsuit? I want to learn how to be successful. I don't want to learn how to become a lifeguard. You know, I want to be successful making money online and starting an online business. I don't want to be successful, you know, learning how to swim or getting a starring role in Baywatch. That's what he was thinking to himself. So anyway, so but he humoured the old man anyway. As and he turned up at the beach at four o'clock in the morning, and it was very very cold. And the old man's taking off his clothes and he's putting on his swimming trunks, and um, he says to him, you know. Could, you know get ready come on we're going in the water and the young lad didn't want to he didn't want to belittle this old man and you know he, he was being given a wonderful opportunity here something life-changing so you know he followed suit and he got undressed and it was freezing cold and they proceeded to walk in the water they were about the same height and they proceeded to walk in the water and the water's absolutely freezing it's four o'clock in the morning it's cold it's dark it's horrible and they start walking in the water and this old man you know he's almost you know, he's, he's, he's loving it, like he re he's really enjoying himself out there and he's breathing in, breathing in the nice mm. sea air and he's really having the, not the time of his life, but you know, he's not phased one little bit, he's just focused on what he's doing and he's just enjoying the moment. So they keep walking and now, you know, the water's getting up to um, the young lad's 
um, groin area and it's freezing cold and he's thinking oh god you know I don't want to be swimming in this water it's up to his groin and the old man says to him you know come to keep keep walking he says you know it's really cold out it's four o'clock morning and the old man says to him well you want to be successful don't you you said you want to be successful you want to learn how to be successful and he said yeah I do want to learn how to be successful he goes yeah you you said to me you want to learn how to be successful and he goes yeah so do you want to learn how to be successful and he says yes I do want to learn how to be successful and he goes well if you want to learn how to be successful keep on walking so they proceed and keep on walking and the water's getting higher and higher now the water's gone up to just under the, the to young lad's chin and he's absolutely freezing cold he's almost spasming in the water and he's shivering and shivering and the old man says well you know if you want to learn how to be successful keep walking and he, he looks at him like he's absolutely crazy. What the guy? He's thinking this guy's nuts. Keep walking. He goes, keep walking. And he goes, you want to learn to be successful, don't you? And he feels a bit under pressure, but he goes along. He feels kind of safe, and he goes along. And he walks a few more steps, and the water's just covered his mouth in those few steps. And it's just going, about to go up his nose. So he starts to go back a little bit to move backwards. And the old man sees that he's made a move to go backwards so he grabs him by the head and he shoves his head under the water and he's holding him under the water now and the, the young lad he, he's panicking he doesn't know what's happening he thinks the old man's gonna kill him and he's just holding him under the water as hard as he can and the young lad he's scraping and scratching his legs are moving he's scraping with all his life to try and get out and push the old man but he's so weakened by the cold water and the fact that he's you know his body He's almost breaking down the shock of this old man pushing him under the water and he's literally holding his head under the water completely and he will not let go of him and he's holding him holding him and the young boy's just about to pass out and the old man lifts him whoosh out of the water and the young lad's like <gasps> getting his breath out he takes a few steps backwards he's absolutely shocked and he thinks this old man's trying to kill him and the old man says to him calm down just calm down and he goes let me ask you a question now he goes you want to be successful still this is what i'm trying to teach you calm down and let me answer you a question what did you want to do more than anything in the whole world when i was holding you just then under the water and you thought you were going to die and the young boy thought to himself he said what did i want to do more than anything i wanted to breathe and the old man said yeah you wanted to breathe and he said when you want to be successful as much as you just wanted to breathe then and only then will you be successful in life and the boy had a revelation and I hope you just had one because you need to think about whether you really want to be successful in life and I'm talking five six seven figures successful and you need to think to yourself what is more important to you in life is watching TV more important to you than being successful? Is listening to the radio more important to you than being successful? Is playing in the park or going out with your friends having a drink more important to you than being successful? Because these are the questions you need to ask yourself, like that young boy. And that boy went on to be an amazing success, earning six and seven figures um, well five and six figures um, per month and that's a true story in fact so you I want you to think about what you've just heard then think to yourself do you really want to be successful in life and are you willing to push yourself to the point where you can be successful and push yourself as far as you possibly can because you know nothing hits you harder um, than life you know nothing out there hits you harder than life but it's not about how hard you get hit it's about how many times you can get hit and keep on moving forward and keep on driving towards your goals until you find your success and that is the real secret to success and as I keep saying you can never fail at any Thing you do in life if you never ever 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 give up trying for your success okay to wrap up this video please do leave your comments below this video and share this video with your friends and family if you got some value for with it and you took something out of the message that I tried to um, portray to you in this video and um, if you want to learn more about me um, the internet marketing preacher you can visit my website or click the link below it's um, www.internetmarketingpreacher.com 
www.ethicalcoachingmyself.com and you can learn about how I'm changing the world and impacting lives out there um, with my message of um, hope and motivation and inspiration and my teachings on how to make money online and how easy it really is and it's just about making the decision to take action. So um, signing out now, Mr G, the internet marketing preacher, God bless you all and I hope my words today have impacted you.